Hi, we're here to show the Simulink interface. We'll be using an analog output board and a high-speed, high-density analog input board. We'll also be interfacing to the cube through our wireless GSM CDMA Wi-Fi board. And in this case, we'll be using the Wi-Fi functionality. Let's get started. We can simply create a new model. And if you've installed our release, you will have access to the UEI SIM library. And we can take an analog output block. We can adjust the number of channels we may want to be transmitting, in this case four. And then we'll indicate that these should, the output should be sine waves. We'll initially do, every sine wave will be two hertz. We'll initially do a one volt sine wave and then increase the amplitude. So now we have the four sine waves. The first one, one volt, second one, two, third is three, and the fourth is four volts. We'll make sure the analog output section knows what to generate. And then we'll put down the analog input. We'll set the expected range of voltage input, uh, sample rate, and differential mode. So now we'll put down a MUX that will allow us to take the four channels that we've acquired and send them to a display, a scope. So you can see the output of the data acquired while the application's running. And that's it. We have our application. So we'll set the system up to generate the right type of application. We'll build the application. And we'll telnet to the UEI SIM and start the application. It also can be configured to start automatically on power up. And here we have four channels, varying amplitudes, being outputted from the 308 analog output board and being read by the analog input board, the 201. Wirelessly connected, we'll go in and change the frequency of one of the signals. So while the system's running, I'm able to update parameters of functionality, and then I can go back and actually set it back. And that's it. In a very short amount of time, you have a full UEI SIM application. You're able to remotely connect to it and change parameters. And again, um, this is all over Wi-Fi.